how do you develop yeah your coping strategies do you think to to um yeah handle pressure and be able to yeah be able to you know not get too stuck in the grand yeah I mean, it's, yeah, it's an interesting question. So one one of the things that we do know is when we are under pressure, we 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 um, are prone to this concept called cognitive tunneling, which is basically you know you, you put your blinkers on so you you really focus on one particular thing, um, and that, that's an evolutionary thing which is really really helpful for us because we can put all our mental horsepower to solving that problem. Mm-hmm. But you know, I guess that if you think about what, if you get a, you know, one of the, the torches, the old torches, and, you know, you, you can you can do that with it and, and, and really get the focus of light really quite small and pinpoint. So that's cognitive tunneling. Performance mindset. Um, we'll start with a pretty open-ended question. Do you think it's largely inbuilt or something that can be developed, whether it be from a coach perspective or, or athlete? It's absolutely developable. Absolutely develop. Some people, some people have got a probably a natural proclivity towards it. Um, you know, it might have been role modeled when they were kids, or you know, whatever it is. You know, some people seem to be um, more adept at it. But even people that are not that that you know that struggle in this regard can absolutely train it um, without question. Common challenges point of view, what are some, some solutions do you think? So what are some common challenges that, is it, that developing athletes or even maturing athletes face when it comes to a, you know, developing a performance mindset and a consistent one? And yeah, what are some solutions that you've found have been quite effective? Yeah, look, I, I reckon um, having a really clear understanding of why you're doing something is really important, like a bit of purpose. Um, and and mission because that's the thing that grounds you. That's that's like your Southern Cross or your Northern Star. Um, that even when things are going pear shaped, that that will hold your focus. Because it's really easy to get into a bit of a spiral and go, oh shit, it's not working or what, whatever it is. But if you can maintain your focus on you know this positive outcome, this North Star, the Southern Cross, whatever it is your purpose of why you're doing something that helps you for those athletes listening in what are sort of some i guess scenarios that you found uh, or questions that you ask to help them uncover that if they're struggling yeah. to find it yeah um so, so some people and like a lot of young athletes and whether they're athletes or i, I do a bit of work in ballet and the like there are some people that do it for themselves and then there are some people that um that are doing it for their parents or you know that, that they're really motivated by not letting people down all those sorts of things so that's that's a bit of an unhealthy way of thinking about it and and not not productive fuel for a for a sustainable career so mm-hmm. the work I do with it is often around how do you how do you develop an intrinsic purpose something which is going to sustain you for a a long period of time um and usually that's about um having fun or or discovering what you could do or learning new things now there are other misconceptions that you find generally people um come in and and they're seeking a problem when really maybe it might be something different from common other on the part i it's funny, like I actually think that confidence is probably the big one. Like people yeah. come in saying I'm down on confidence, um, but but usually there is something there. There'll be a competence um, aspect to it that you just need to unlock, um, and then you know you, you you work from there. Like whether it's a um, a batter not not getting their front foot out of the way or, or whatever it is. Um, that there'll be a competence aspect to it because you're not competent in it. You keep getting bowled out around your legs or, you know, you're missing set shots or you're missing free throws or whatever because there'll be a competence. You just fix that. Yeah, that's how she might and just fix it. Um, but that's the bit that you need to work on is the competence. 